Hello and welcome to the first Java training tutorial video. Herein we are going to see how we can set up Java and run our first program. As promised, these tutorials are going to be very informative for learning Selenium. So their objective is going to be learning the part of Java which is required to be able to work with Selenium. So in case you want to see the content of the tutorial that is this as well as the upcoming then please have a look at the description of the video. So let's begin with the first part of the training today. So let's begin with the, what is Java and why do we need Java and what's the advantage of Java. So if you have not done any programming then let me tell you java is one of the most famous high level programming language and it has many 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 benefits for example it is simple it is object oriented it has capabilities of multi-threading which we would see in future tutorial videos it is very robust and it is very secure uh, these terms may look like very confusing and difficult at this point of time but as we proceed with the more tutorials they would become very simple and clear in the future. Now if we want to see how a Java program works then the best way to do that is to create a Java program and to run it. Uh, but before that let me give you a background of how a Java program works. Uh, so when it comes to writing a Java program it is written in a, in a file which is known as .java file and then there is a specific uh, feature which is known as compiler which compiles the .java file into .class file and this .class file contains the byte code or uh, a machine readable code and then java provides something called virtual machine which can run this uh, byte code on different platforms so when we run a java program then we just have to compile it on one platform and then we can have java virtual machine available for different platforms and then same program can be run on different platforms for example we can write a java program on windows but we can run it on uh, windows of course as well as on mac machine or on ubuntu or any other operating system for which we have virtual machine available now when it comes to java platform then we have uh, two various two distinguished components which are the java virtual machine which i just spoke of and then we have something called java api java api is a huge collection of classes and interfaces which which can be used uh, to to create various programs so in the future course of tutorials we will see many classes and interfaces which 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 can be used to write many robust programs now how do we write java program so one way is to use a uh, text pad or notepad and write program but that's going to be a little laborious so what we are going to do now is we will download one ide which is known as integrated development environment and we will run java programs in that so i'm going to use here something called intellij ide it has a community version as well as uh, as well as the commercial version we don't need the commercial version here we will download the community version which is free so you can download it from here and you can see the url here and we also need java so you can download java from here so it has we have various versions of java if you want to run any of the programs which i'm using here then any version which is above java 6 should be sufficient uh, but you can also try java 8 and you can download it from here and there are installation instructions which are very very easy so you should be able to follow them uh, i would also recommend one thing here that at any point of time if you face any difficulty with respect to running programs or installation or setting up the java then your first point of contact should be your development team members because they are very very knowledgeable in programming and they should be able to help you with setting up the system once we have the system set up then we can run program and learn things okay so i already have uh, intellij installed on my system so i'm going to create our first project so how do we do that i go to file and then i select new project all right 
and then I select here Java module because we are going to write Java program and then I I, I name our project so let's let's learn, let's name it as uh, running uh, okay let's name it as Java tutorial all right and then I say next uh, I am not going to select Groovy or any other library because I don't need that it's just plain Java programming and then I say finish so IntelliJ asks me that it can open it in this window or it can open project in a new window so I'm going to say open this in open it in this window okay so here is my project so this is the name of the project and if you see there are a couple of files in a folder called dot IDEA we don't have to deal with them IntelliJ needs these files to be able to work with the project which we have created our point of interest here is the source folder or something which is known as package in Java programming language uh, let's let's not worry about all of these terms if you don't understand them now because this is our first session and we will learn more about the packages and classes in the future tutorials but for now let's understand that this is a package or a folder which will contain various classes and then we have something called external libraries which which are nothing but uh, JDK 1.6 or Java 1.6 which I'm using here uh, for Java program, so let's let's try to run our let's try to create our first Java class. So just right click on a package SRC, say new, and Java class, and let's name our first class. As usual, every programming uh, class or every programming uh, method begins with writing hello world. So we will also create hello world program here. Uh, hello world class here so this is the hello world class these are the comments which are from IntelliJ you can modify them in the settings but that's not of high importance here so let's run uh, let's create something called main method here main method is something which which is used to which 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 runs the program main method is the beginning point of the program so how do we write main method we say public static void main And then we print uh, print a line so we will write one statement for that and we will print well we will not print hello world we print something else here so let's print we 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 all want to learn Java or we all want to master selenium So this this is a program and now we can run this program but before getting into running the program let's understand few things here public is public is one access specifier of course we will see more of this in future uh, but public means that the class is accessible to everybody class is a keyword hello world is nothing but the name of the class so if you see the name of the file which is also hello world.java and name of the class is also hello world so they should be same and then we have the body of the class now here we have a main method and then we can execute this main method to execute our program method also has a access specifier which is public here it is a static method we will see more about a static in future void means method does not return any value and then we have a string arguments now how do we print print a statement we, we use a print method here which we are using from uh, which which is being used to run uh, which is being used to print uh, the line which we have written here so it, we are using system class here now how do we run this program so we just have to right click on this and say run all right so we, we see here that on the console uh, we all want to learn selenium is printed here so our program was successful so this is one very basic example of class and then we have a main method which is being used to run a program so this is something which we did to run the program but consider that if we wanted to debug a statement or we wanted to see something else 
then we can as well debug it. Now, how do we debug it? To debug it, uh, debug debug is a, a special uh, procedure in a in a uh, in integrated development environment or for example we are using IntelliJ here so in IntelliJ so I keep a point here I just click on any line here and I clicked here and then there's a red circle here so this is a debug point now instead of running it directly I can also execute it in debug mode which means that as soon as control comes to this line it would wait for me for it to continue this is a very important feature and when we work with Selenium programs or Java in general, then we will see more of it. So let's try to debug it. At this point of time, I will right click on it and I will not run it. I will say debug. Yeah, so if we see here, there's a blue line and control have a stop there. So it waits for me to continue with the execution. So I go to the debug window here and then I say resume and then program runs so if i see the console here the same line is printed again but the advantage here is that if we uh, we have an error in the program or if something goes wrong then we can keep such debug points and then analyze the program better so so we just created and executed our first program which is very simple you should be able to create the similar program on your system and be able to run it in case you face any issues, then please post it in uh, in Selenium test forum, and I'll be posting its link in the description of the video. So let's let's complete this tutorial now, and let's meet in the second tutorial. Good luck.